Hey guys, here are the top three terms when you search is data science on YouTube. Okay, is data science hard? Is it dying or is it worth it? And all these terms you can see similar to that. And I want to show you another screenshot where you just have a look at how Nvidia shares have jumped in last week and before that. And you know the reason of this jump? The reason of this jump is not Nvidia's traditional gaming graphics card. No, gaming graphics card is not the reason for this jump. The reason for this jump is semiconductor chips that Nvidia supports in AI applications and research. So these two things are totally contradictory. On one hand, you are seeing that people are searching is data science dying. On other hand, you are seeing people are showing lot of trust in anything related to AI. So what's happening? Let's try to understand the answer of all these three questions. Is data science good for you? Is it dying? And is it worth it? So guys, in this video, I will cover three parts. The first part I will cover is as a data scientist, what is expected from you? Okay. The second part of the video I will cover as an organization when I hire a data scientist, then why would I even have a data science team or why would I even hire a data scientist or why would I even go in data science path or AI path? Okay. And then I'm going to tell you in third part of this video, how you and me should think about this data skill overall, this data landscape overall. And then I'm going to leave you with some reports and some very interesting charts to answer your question of is data science dying? Okay. So kindly ensure guys you watch till this end. I have done a lot of research to come to this video. Okay. Let's start with the basic understanding of um, if you say that you are a data scientist, right? Then what is that I should expect from you? Okay. And for that, I will take a reference of something known as Bloom's taxonomy. Okay. You can see this pyramid here. This is basically a division of how the learning process happens in terms of complexity and specificity. Okay. Now don't worry about much about what this chart says and all. I will make it very simple for you. The bottom two, you know, boxes or bottom two, you know, starting part of the learning phase should be remembering and understanding. Now, let me take you very simple example of linear regression. So, bottom two things is telling you, you understand what is linear regression and you remember what is linear regression. Okay. Then comes the middle two things and middle two things is about you apply linear regression in some problem statement and then you analyze. Okay. Up to here. There is no specific job that you are doing up to the first four parts of the pyramid. There is no specific thing. There is no new newness in your job. Okay. But if you see the upper two parts of this pyramid, right? Evaluate and create. That is what makes you a good data scientist. That is what you should target to become. Try to understand with a simple real world example. Suppose this is basically a Google interview question for data science. Okay. One of my friend appeared for Google interview. This was asked. Okay. The question is, how would you filter genuine reviews from non genuine reviews on let's say restaurants or tourist places. Now, if I have to let's say categorize genuine review and non genuine reviews, obviously it has to be a classification scenario. Okay. From this pyramid, the bottom two things, I know what is a classification model, how it works. Okay. But as a data scientist, now I need to create something new. Now I need to think something new, taking that as a base, taking regression or taking classification as the base. Now it is expected from me to create maybe a hybrid model. Maybe I can use some NLP flavor in that. Maybe I can use some kind of language models in that. Maybe I can take data from sources, which nobody even thought of. So as a data scientist, your job is not only limited to understanding, remembering or applying your job, your specific job is to create something that makes sense that cannot be created by somebody with less experience or limited experience. Okay. This is the first part of the story. So what you should target to become as a data scientist. Now, second part of the story is if I'm an organization, 
why i will why i will have a data science team or why i will hire ai people why i will hire data scientists okay understand guys there are three main reasons you should any company you are looking at it will fall in one of these three reasons why they are hiring data science okay first is they want to make sense of their data so they have lot of data they want to make sense of it second is they have already invested in some cloud uh, service provider for example gcp aws or google uh, i'm sorry microsoft azure let's see this screenshot by gartner where it tells you what is the revenue earned from public service uh, cloud service providers as you can see there is a huge spike year by year which means many industries are investing in cloud technologies and what cloud technology offer you it says that i will make your life easy if you invest in me now understand guys i have data and i have invested in cloud so why not i should make some models and why not i should in, you know see what can be done in machine learning so two main reasons why organizations spend in data science and ai one is they have lot of data they want to make sense of it second is they have already invested in cloud they want to leverage you know use it for better purposes and third is they also want to build product that they can sell to the market on their license so many companies are trying to build a product that you know ai product which does something they want to sell it to the market and you know make a license and make money from that as a data scientist you and me have to think in these three buckets how i will be a good fit okay how i will be a good fit in all these three buckets in product development can i help if i have to help in product development do i have domain knowledge do i have needed technical knowledge can i think from a architect point of view can i think from a business analyst point of view i'm not saying you should be very good in all these skills but can i at least think wearing their hats can i support people in you know enhancing their cloud journey so cloud is a very very important component of any de deployment now so how can i help in those areas okay and also from the making sense of data point of view what what is the specific thing that i bring on the table not necessarily model building not necessarily machine learning deep learning from my experience what i bring on the table okay so think from how i can contribute to these three types of work in the market and next part of the video i am going to talk about you and me how you and me should plan our career okay i want you to google on something known as pivoting the career okay pivoting the career means i am a data scientist i work in machine learning deep learning area now based on the market demands based on how the things are moving i want to shift slightly to a different path not not totally away from this path slightly different path which has an intersection with my current path where i see more growth i see more opportunities okay so my message to all of you is if needed be ready to pivot now i am not saying i will show you some charts towards end of the video i am not saying data science is you know kind of dying on kind of slowing down okay not at all but you have to think how you can pivot your career i mean if needed if you are getting more money if you are getting better opportunities if you are getting better position why not why you want to limit yourself to being a data scientist only why don't you want to be a data product manager why don't you want to be head of ai services of some company why don't you want to be head of analytics of some some organization or some unit right so in in that way you have to think like how i can grab the opportunities that are coming more way that are coming my ways okay be ready to see if you see the pivot opportunities see if i can do that okay second thing i want to tell you here is uh, think how can you how you can add value in something that is non automot uh, non automatable so i always use this word something which cannot be automated now what can be automated data pipelines sql queries some kind of feature engineering what cannot be automated your domain knowledge your understanding of data your understanding of what works what doesn't work your understanding of you know deep understanding of hyper parameter tuning these things can't be automated okay so keep a focus on what can't be automated okay and keep a keep an eye on that i want you to comment what all things can't be automated you think so that everybody can focus on those areas okay and as a data scientist 
you should also think how can I wear multiple hats at multiple point of time. For example, um, maybe tomorrow I have to interact with some domain expert who wants to talk more of more from functional point of view. Somebody wants to talk more from technical point of view. Somebody wants to understand more from architecture point of view. Somebody wants to understand more from expense point of view. Okay, so as a data scientist, you and me should develop our our capacity to talk on different point of views. Okay, and that is what will make you head of AI. That is what will make you head of analytics. That is what will make you head of data science. Okay, don't think it as a very long, very short career where you know I am a data scientist. I am working on machine learning, deep learning. If I am doing anything apart from that, then my career is not in right path. Don't think like that. Think from a larger perspective where you want to see yourself after 20 years, right? So you should be somebody who should be able to add value in the world of data, okay? Add value in the world of data with your experience and skills. You might not be doing model building, but you are adding value in the world of data from your experience and skills in a non-automatable way. Your skills can't be automated. That way you and me have to think. Now I am coming to the part which most people are waiting, is data science dying, okay? So I will not keep it limited to data science, everything related to data, right? Let's see one report from um, UK government. This is a report from UK government guys, I am pasting one screenshot here. See the skill shortage and what is the top skill here, which is, which is in shortage according to the report by UK government. I give you the link, you see the link in the description, you can read it, okay? And Last but not the least, I am going to leave you with two screenshots of Google trend, Google search trend and I want you to decide and comment what do you think is data science dying, is data science not a good career, is data science not worth it. Look at these two screenshots and please drop your comment. I will see you all in the next video guys wherever you are, stay safe and take care.